yes i'm on another train yes we're going to another temple and yes it is going to be some awesome photography let's do this Yes, back at the train station, it is time to check out a Shinto shrine that dates back to 711 AD. What's so special about this place? Let's just say there is no shortage of Tori gates. You may have noticed how much I have been using the trains these past few weeks. I recommend purchasing a Suica card so you can freely jump on and off the trains and buses as needed while you navigate your way through your adventures. Before we enter the grounds of the shrine, I would like to thank all of you for your support and especially from viewers like Prodhot Action, Habibold El Sadad, and Purgatory Adventures. Please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any updates on my channel. I would also love to read the comments about the places that you explore and photograph. A Tori gate is a structure in a Shinto shrine that symbolically marks the transition from the mundane to the sacred. They are the border between the secular and sacred worlds. They are the passageway from the profane to the divine. Places like this are where you often find the traditional Japanese architecture that you came to Japan to experience. Something I've noticed at this temple is that the photographic composition element of repetition is well represented here. So get ready, time to pull out the camera. So this is an extremely popular place. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is stand in one location and keep shooting and then use that technique I demonstrated from Rome on how to remove people. But this is gonna take a lot of images. This is not the place for serious photography in the middle of the day. There are people everywhere. Stay tuned and I'll show you an easy way to deal with this situation. The number of Tory gates here is unreal. I do not understand Japanese, but I'm sure that each of these symbols have meaning. In some places, the gates are packed so tightly together that it almost feels as if you are indoors. So here's a little pro tip for you guys. Continue up the mountain. When you go through the smaller tour gates, okay. look to your left and it starts the way up the mountain. And notice that there's not as many people. So it's gonna make your photography a little bit easier. So don't waste your time down at the smaller gates. Continue up the mountain. I do not fully understand the concept of a shrine. This is one of the wonders of travel, to see a different culture a different way of life. Always interesting we're exploring a different culture. I have absolutely no idea what this stuff is. Part of the fun. From statues for cats to small candles burning, this is all both a mystery and a lot of fun. As we continue to climb up the mountain, the foot traffic is getting less and less. So a lot of the images see of this place are all taken at the lower elevations. Here, higher up the mountain, there's different scenes that I just don't see very common. So you might want to continue all the way up the top of the mountain to get those rare shots. As you can see, there seems to be no end to these gates and to the potential photographs. Just be on the lookout for the wild monkeys who do not like being stared at or photographed. This is a commitment. Of 
According to TripAdvisor, there are actually 10,000 Tory gates here and 12,000 steps to the top. Look, more stairs. Oh my God. All right. I'm thinking this has got to be a graveyard. Let's see. Are we at the top? Oh my God, did we actually make it to the top? I think we made it. I think it's safe to say we made it to the top. So that map was incredibly distorted. When you get to the place called Crossroads, that's the top. Or last, last uh, place until the top. Whew. Oh boy. I haven't climbed like that since Hawaii. All right guys, I think it's time to end this episode while I'm on top. We're still trying to figure out how we're going to get down. Uh, but anyhow, thank you guys again for watching. Remember, I'll put the uh, location of uh, where I took my as many of my pictures as I can on uh, the locations newsletter. But I'll be honest with you, a few of these are a little hard to find because you got to climb up this trail. Uh, but anyhow, guys, stay tuned for more. This adventure here at Kyoto is not over. So hit the subscribe button. And as always, please consider opening your hearts and homes to a shelter animal. And of course, if you can't, please consider donating to your local animal shelter. Take care. See you all next time.